Welcome back. The Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign is going on nationally and here on the Sun Coast. Sarasota police have increased their patrol recently, keeping a close eye on impaired driving through the Labor Day weekend. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from Tamiami Trail in Sarasota with more on what drivers can expect. Rick? Yeah, guys, they can expect a crackdown on this. Labor Day weekend has become one of the deadliest. It was a horrendous accident. My uh, daughter was in the back seat. What scant bus driver William Gardner is talking about is an accident back in 2015 in Sarasota. A 24-year-old drunk driver crashed into the back of a car his wife, brother, and three-year-old daughter were in. All involved survived the crash, but the little girl had suffered major injuries. My daughter was a normal three-year-old, and then just like that, she had to learn how to do everything all over again. She's still learning how to walk, talk. Because of accidents like that, the Sarasota Police Department is cracking down on impaired and drivers. For a week and a half now, you may have noticed more police out and about each night on city streets leading up to the upcoming Labor Day weekend. When you think of driving under the influence, it's not just always about alcohol. There's drugs involved. And as a driver who is impaired, you're not only jeopardizing yourself, but you're jeopardizing all the other uh, drivers and bicyclists and pedestrians that are on the road. This drive sober or get pulled over campaign is also focusing on speeding and other traffic safety laws. Police offer this advice for anyone who is drinking. The main thing that we want is don't get behind the wheel. One drink is way too many. Um, always have a plan and if you don't have a plan don't make that decision. Wait it out. For William Gardner and his family they're happy to see the police department putting more of a focus on this issue. I'm just very grateful for that and, and uh, I wish that it would stop the, the drunk driving. And this could hit your wallet. Impaired driving can cost you up to $10,000. Reporting live from Sarasota, I'm Rick Adams. Back to you.